Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips. Today I'm doing a little bit of a different video. I'm not reporting on any news, but I am hoping that this will be a really wonderful resource for you as you plan your princess cruises. So as you might be aware, when you sail with princess, they have the medallion class app, and then you receive the little medallion in the mail not too long before your cruise, usually if you live in the United States, and if you live outside of the United States, they don't ship outside of the United United States yet, so you just pick it up at embarkation. No matter where you are, if your um, medallion does not come before sailing time, don't worry, you can get one at embarkation, so don't worry about it. Another thing that goes along with using the Medallion Class app is you can do everything that you need to do to be ready for embarkation, as well as like your dining reservations, look at the schedule of events the closer it gets, and so there is just a whole bunch of things to do in the Medallion Class app. You can use the casino part and do gambling and sports betting, all of that kind of stuff if you want to, as well as they've got the port guides there because they don't print those anymore. They have a shoreside transaction um, area now that I am thinking as time goes by they will really add a lot to that. Right now if you bike a purchase when you are on, on shore and it is with one of the places that is listed in the app you get a 7% discount and you just pay with your medallion at the place and then it shows up in your account and then you get that 7% discount. I have noticed that most of the places we have sailed don't have any added yet. Um, so the few that I have seen aren't very, um, don't have very many at all. And so I think that's going to grow a lot. But at any rate, as we are all aware, sometimes the Medallion Class app works fabulously. And sometimes it doesn't work at all. And then there's all everything in between. So the first thing that I want you to always remember is if your Medallion Class app is not working, don't worry about it. You can still go through the embarkation process the same when you arrive at the ship for embarkation as we always have. So don't worry about it. All you have to do with you is take with you your proof of vaccination, your passport, and your um, negative COVID test with you right now since that's what's required so that you can go ahead and embark on the ship. Now be aware though that if you can do it on the app, it really simplifies things a lot. And I have done one video because a while ago Princess realized that their app was not working all of the time and so they made it so that you could do some of the check-in things, upload your documents, things like that um, from your computer. And so recently I am really grateful for Trish for letting us know. She told me this before I got the notice as um, a Princess Travel um, Advisor person and so thank you Trish. She sent me the link where you can log in and also do your dining reservations. That's brand new which is really good. So the reason that I think it's important is, you know, often when I look at the schedule of events and I think, well, what night do we want specialty dining and what time do we want to eat dinner? Sometimes it's really hard to know, um, you know, what you're going to be doing and what time you're going to want to do that. But we have heard recently, and this happened to us just recently on the Regal Princess, that you could um, book your dining reservations in advance. And especially for specialty dining, by the time we got on the ship, all of the slots were full. And so we had booked the Crown Grill, but we were going to grab, um, add Sabatini's as well. And we just weren't able to because there were no slots open. So that is really the good part about going ahead and making the dining reservations before you board the ship for the things that you can figure out <laughs> that you know you're going to want to do. And keep in mind that if you do make a dining reservation, whether it's for specialty dining or for the main dining room, and you change your mind, you can cancel it. So you're not stuck. You know, if the day comes and you're like, I don't want to go eat dinner at six o'clock, then you can change it. So be aware that if it's specialty dining, you might not be able to rebook it. But for the main dining room, you can um, just delete it. You can leave it there and go at a different time. You can, um, it's a really flexible there. So I just wanted to let you know. And one thing that I noticed on the Regal Princess is really interesting this time is as you go to the main dining room, any one of them that you go to, they will have a sign that says people with reservations on this side and people without reservations. And the really humorous thing was, is the um, line that had for people with reservations, at least the times that we went often had a line, but the line without a reservation 
often didn't have a line or else it had a shorter line. And so um, it kind of made us as the cruise progressed that we didn't worry about making dining reservations so much because it seemed like we could get in at about the same amount of time no matter what um, whether we made a reservation or not. So I have already done a video that, like I said, that shows you all of the basics of how to go through the web version to be able to do everything that you need to be ocean ready, as they call it, or ready for embarkation. So in order to do the dining option, what you do is there are two ways to do it. First of all, Trish was so kind, which I really appreciate. She was so kind to send this link, and I will put it under this video, and it takes you right to the place where you log in here and you can either log in with your login ID and password or you can scroll down a little bit and put in your name, your booking number, and your birthday and log in that way. So that is one option right there. The other option is to do it on your princess.com. And by the way, that login information on the other option, that is the same as you have for your princess.com account, for your medallion class app, that's all the same login information. You don't have to have a separate one. So when you come just to princess.com, you come right here and up here it gives you the option to log in. And so you go ahead and get logged in and you put in, you know, your login ID, mine's my email address there, and you get logged in. And so you just click the continue here. Alrighty, and then up here you click on my account and see it'll have your name and then this is where like you look at your future cruise credits as I was telling you yesterday. But then what we want to do is look at our upcoming cruises. You come down here, this is our next cruise, that love boat sailing on the Discovery Princess to the Mexican Riviera. And so you scroll down here, and as you scroll down, like down here in the medium blue area, you're going to see like all the basics about that cruise. But right here where it says download the Medallion Class app, there's also this option right here where it says try our web version. So you're going to click on that. and it's gonna bring you right here. So let me go ahead and enter that um, booking number. I don't know why um, they have that. I don't know um, why you have to do that because you were already in that booking. Oh dear, something's clearly wrong. Let's see. Um, let's try one more time. It's not working. So if details are incorrect, you can edit them. Okay, uh, let's just go back and make sure that I've got the right um, booking number. Let's go back. Let's go back again. It's fun, you can kind of see that um, Princess does, they do, you know what, I just, okay, I do love Princess. I know everybody's having technical problems, but let's go back here, see if we can get it this time. So we're gonna go back to my account and I'm just gonna leave this in so that you can see it doesn't work smoothly a lot of the time. So we're going to go back down here to Upcoming Cruises and uh, we're going to click on Manage This Booking. And I'm double checking. I'm just going to highlight here my booking number. Um, I don't think. Okay. And so that when I go to um, so that when I go up here, try our web version. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so it's logging that page again and we're going to put in that booking number again so let's see let's put it in again oh dear there we go three well you know what I just am leaving this to show you that that's not working. That is my information. That is my booking number. And so when these kind of things happen to you, just go over here. Let's log in and try it here. And then we'll put in this. And then we'll enter my birthday. So, um, I just think that it's really valuable to know that you, when things don't work right, don't always think it's you. Of course, we always need to learn how to do things, but it looks like the link, hopefully, that Trish gave us is going to be our best option rather than doing it through managing your booking. So we'll just wait a minute here for us to figure it out. Look, it, it brought us up. 
So we don't know why this keeps saying this about our passage contract. Every time we bring it up, we go in and agree to everything, and the next time it says that. So um, anyway, let's scroll down here. Um, Dine My Way is right here. So here is really where you would do everything else that you want to do um, to prepare for your cruise right there, just on that whole screen, and then you can look at things. So we made a few dining reservations here. As soon as it comes up, you'll be able to see them. Okay, so first of all, um, here's the way it works. So you can um, look at any day and it will bring up whatever you have got scheduled. And so, um, for example, the first C day, we booked 7 p.m. in the Ketchikan dining room there on the Discovery Princess. Um, we asked for a private table for two, so that's why it says that right over here. And here's where you edit. If you want to edit that, you can pick another time um, or whatever you want. You just click on it and change it, or if you don't want it anymore, you just delete it. And so then um, you can pick whatever day. See, I'm just scrolling down here through the different days. And then on the Puerto Vallarta day, we pick to eat dinner at Sabatini's at 8.30 p.m. Once again, we can change that if we want to. I know that's a little bit late, but we have a sail away to do because we always love to take you guys with us. And we just wanted to uh, put in a little bit of extra wiggle room. And I kind of... Um, I'm more of an eat late person anyway. And so I just wanted to show you that this how is how it works. So let's pick another day and make a reservation. So say we want to make one here for our Cabo San Lucas day and we want to create, you just click on create a new reservation. And then um, you can pick evening. Uh, I think evening is all you can pick right now. Um, I'm thinking that maybe in the future, I don't know if they're going to let people start making reservations for the middle of the day I couldn't tell you but anyway um, so for example say we're going to do the main dining room so you pick what you want and say okay that evening we would like to eat at 8 40. you can pick whichever um, dining room that you would like and so we are picking this and um, private table right here reserve and I want to tell you, and then it just is there. So I want to let you know that if you ever like have a private table booked and you get there and you want to share a table and meet more people, you can always do that. One thing that I have noticed, and there's good and bad about it, is that so often when you ask for a private table, you know they will have the long like bench kind of seating and then a table and then one the other opposite that is a chair. And they are so close together that you, it's kind of like eating with other people. If you really don't want to talk to anybody, you don't have to. But people are sitting right next to you, so it's kind of like sharing a table. And we have met some of the very nicest people and um, learned a lot that way. So just so you know, you can be social anyway. They do have some tables that are more off that would be more separate but by large degree way more of them are closer together so it's easy to visit if you would like to. So I just wanted to show you that this is a really great option so that you can do that and I would also suggest that if you know that you want to eat at the same time every evening I would go ahead and make the reservation because they are supposed to be holding a table for you at that time and so if they're super busy we have had on other cruises not so much on the Regal Princess but on on other cruises when there was a line waiting for people that didn't have a reservation we were able to walk up and they had our table prepared for us they were expecting us and so I would say definitely do it if you know that there's a time that you want to eat and absolutely if you for sure want to get to try a specialty dining do that in advance and then just a heads up about that is how far out from your cruise that you're able to book that dining is, I think it's really quite far and it is determined by what your loyalty status is with Princess. And so the people who are elite get to book first and then platinum and so forth. But my experience has been that from what I've heard from people is that pretty far out, you can go ahead and select your dining. And so if you look and you can't select your dining yet on your Medallion Class app, I would definitely try doing it on the computer in case it's a glitch with the app. And then just if it's still not available, just check back really very frequently so that you can go ahead and get the dining options that you would like to have. So if any of you have any questions about this, just put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer you. We have so many Let's Go family members that do this that I know it really helps. And then the other heads up that I wanted to give you about this is with the staff shortages that are on several of the cruise ships right now, a lot of people are saying that you're going to have to wait sometimes a long time for both specialty and main dining room reservations. Even if you've got that reservation, sometimes 
sometimes people are waiting a really long time. I've heard sometimes you have to wait 20 minutes. Sometimes, um, just the other day, someone left a comment and said they waited 90 minutes for a Crown Grill appointment reservation, and then they gave up and left. And so, um, Hopefully that will not happen quite so often as we can get more crew on the cruise ships. But anyway, if you appreciate these updates and if you appreciate uh, these kind of videos that kind of show you how to do things, let me know in the comments below. And if you have anything that you would particularly like me to show you how to do with the website or how to find, I would appreciate it if you would put that in the comments as well. And if you enjoyed this video, will you please give this video a thumbs up? It really does help us out. I'll be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.